ain't Uzi, you ain't Cardi. Show not me. Never on the scene. What you mean? Y'all I mean. What is good with y'all? It's Jules here coming back at y'all with another video today. <clears throat> I'm gonna be reacting to I Help My Uncle's Serious Crime and now I regret all about it. If you're new to my channel, subscribe right now, turn on post notifications, backslap the like button, bro, to 600 subscribers. I'm about to start this reaction in three, two, one. There we go. It was 15 years ago. Hey, bro, no cap. That was a long title. Like, I know y'all saw how long the title was. When I was 11 years old, I used to live with my uncle, who was 31 years old at the time. Why do he have rept Why did he have snake eyes? Like his pupils are are like are lines. Like y'all know how snake eyes be. Like they be having like the lines in their eyes. He took me away from my family, telling them how great I would be if I stayed with him in his farmhouse. Well, I think the kid has the. Eyes well, too. he actually had a really yeah, nice do. farmhouse. However, that was totally fake. He also had a big van that he used to kidnap kids in. He said, what now? He said he, he had a big van that he used to kidnap kids in. And then the camera switches and then I see a bunch of kids kidnapped in a gigantic van. And look at the shadow. Most of all, look at the shadow. Come on now, bro. He usually abducted lost kids, or the kids who were playing in the parks. Yeah, right. He was... Y'all you, you, see how the kid was just looking nervous right there, right? That was me. I would have kicked the uncle in his leg and ran. I would have called the police. Because I don't, I don't know what was going through that kid's mind. I don't care if you're related to me. I don't care if you're my father, anything, bro. It don't matter who you are. I'm not helping you kidnap more kids. What kind of kid would help an adult kidnap more kids around your age? That, that's he was weird. such a serious kidnapper and murderer. While he was tying up the children after the kidnapping, he ordered me to dig a hole for each one. Of course, I didn't. Wait, he's burying them? I thought they were alive or like like sleeping or unconscious or something. I did not think that he was gonna bury them. Uh-uh, bro, I can't believe he's going to Didn't wanna this. do that. I was just horrified and scared of my uncle. One what? day, I stayed with the kids inside the basement to monitor them. Are they alive? Crying, they were begging to let them go. They are alive. I could see that some of the kids were almost the same. Bro, they, they look like this. they're the same age. Come on, bro, you, you can't do that, bro. You're, you're literally burying kids that the same age around you. Come on, bro. You, I don't care if you're afraid of your uncle or not, bro. You can't be doing that. You can, bro. Don't Please don't be same doing that, Same age as my age. So don't I untied them oh and let them sneak out by the yes. back. Yes. Thank you, bro. He, yo, he listened to me. He listened to me, bro. Y'all see how I was spinning motivational, inspirational stuff, bro. He was listening, bro. He said, oh, you're right, Chelsea. I'm going to untie them and let them Door, go. So you my see? uncle couldn't see them. He was in the kitchen sharpening his knives. Uh, I returned uh, to the kitchen acting like nothing happened. But somehow, when he lifted his head, he noticed oh, through no. the window that they were running away. <laughs> he got mad, grabbed his gun, and then he ran out the door trying to shoot them. He's trying to shoot little kids, bro. His uncle is weird. I immediately ran with him watching them and hoping that they could manage it. And all the kids succeeded to run away. Fortunately, yes, sir. I yes, could sir. see that one of them even waved to me to say goodbye. My uncle told me not to worry, and that he'd get more kids the next morning. Uh, it seemed uh, like that he was thinking that I was the one who was disappointed about the kids' escape, or whatever. The next morning, I woke up and figured out that he was not there. And all of no. a sudden, I heard. A Hey bro, twelve came. <laughs> hey bro, twelve came to his house and said, "Come on, bro, you can't be doing that, bro." Hey bro, somebody became a six nine and and teamed up with twelve and got the uncle, bro. Somebody became a six nine and teamed up with twelve, bro. I'm not no six nine. I would never team up with twelve, bro. Couldn't be me. I promise. The you. The loud siren, and soon after, 
The police entered inside the farmhouse. They found me and asked me if I was one of those kids who was kidnapped by him. Hey, bro, don't shoot the kids. He he grabbed the kid like he did something. The kid ain't do nothing wrong, bro. He didn't do anything wrong but help the kids escape. If it wasn't for if it wasn't for the uncle's kid, them kids would have probably been dead. I couldn't lie to him. I always felt sorry for lots of kids who got kidnapped by him. Wait, so has this been happening? Like, is this the first time this is happening? Bro, I know I'm pausing this a lot, but bro, let me tell y'all a secret. I'm doing it because I, I want to get the video to 10 minutes. <laughs> bro, come on, bro. I'm, I'm just trying to get it to 10 So minutes, I told bro. them that I was his nephew, and they took me with them for questioning. I was crying so badly when I confessed the truth about him to the police. Hey, bro, I don't blame you. I'm not saying I would cry, but at the same time, I don't blame you. I mean, a kid at a very young age. I mean, okay, I met. Mean, okay, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put you guys in the kid's shoes. Imagine, you know, maybe like ten or nine years old, eight, seven. You know, you're you're around like the young age, right? And then, um, and then you have an uncle, right? The uncle kidnaps kids, and I don't know what he does with them, but he probably kills them. And then 12 comes to your house, and you have to explain everything. Ima imagine how much PTSD and how much you'd have to go, bro. That's, that's crazy. It was the hardest moment that I had to give proof of my uncle's serious crime, because I loved him anyway, whether he's a criminal or not. Yeah, bro, you weird. <laughs> bro, he said he loved him whether he a criminal or not, bro. You can, I, I don't see how you could love your uncle if you, if you, bro, if my uncle was a criminal, I could not love him, bro. Like, as a family member, I could, I couldn't love him as a family member, bro. Yeah. Bro, I can't even respect you as a, hu as a human being for kidnapping, a, for kidnapping little kids and doing whatever you do with them. I don't, I'm not, I don't know what you do with them, bro. But I can't, I can't love you as a family member if you kidnap and kids. That's weird. But I knew this day would come, and actually, I was waiting for it. It seemed like they didn't believe smiling. me at first, but I revealed the location of the holes to them. Oh, he became a six nine. No, <laughs> hey, bro, to be honest, I mean, he's doing, he's doing the right thing. I mean, I don't, I don't recommend y'all teaming up with twelve unless it's in this case. Unless you're doing it for justice. After digging, the police found bodies under the ground. Oh no, stop, stop. At that time, my oh, uncle my. got... Bro, I've already seen too much. I don't want to see any more, bro. Wait, is that the same Got uncle? back to my mother's house, hugged her, and begged to stay for a while. I can't... Bro, bro does his mother know that what his uncle does... His, un his uncle is a terrible human being. Bro. However, the police have already told her about the incident and what had happened to me. So she told him he could stay, but as soon as he got to the bathroom to shower, she alerted dad and they called the police. My uncle was arrested finally, and the police thanked me and told me that I was such Bro, this is one crazy story. Imagine somebody so young, all your life, you live with your uncle, right? And your uncle is always kidnapping kids. And you have to deal with that. You can't say anything. You wanna know why? Because you're afraid of your uncle that he might hurt you. And it's just you and your uncle. So who, who are you gonna run to? I mean, you could run to 12, but at the same time, how are you gonna call 12 when you live with your uncle and if you're afraid of him? You don't know what your uncle's gonna do. You don't know if your uncle's gonna kidnap you too. He, he might even kidnap you too. Never know, bro. But this kid has a brave heart. This kid became very brave and decided that today, nah, I'm not gonna let these. I'm not gonna let these little kids get kidnapped. I'm gonna help him. I'm gonna help him escape. Become six nine for maybe maybe a day, maybe a day, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna get justice, bro. I'm gonna get justice for all the kids that got killed what an inspiration a brave kid they brought me back to my parents and I could have a better life with them
My uncle was charged with kidnapping, murdering kids, and even showing me such Bro, they never even told me what he did, but now I found out that he murders, he kidnaps and murders kids, then buries them in the backyard or the front yard. That is sick and twisted. It's terrible things that kids should not see. He was condemned to death, and not long, oh. long after, finally hanged. They hanged him? That's tough. Ooh, y'all is brutal. But y'all, that's the end of the video. If y'all enjoyed this reaction, subscribe to my channel right now. Wrote the six hundred subscribers. Turn on post notifications and backslap the like button. I am out. Peace. Hey, can I bother? Can can we tell Mr. Trainer? I think I can pull up a water me like I'm dead in a revenge. The big confessor took a sample. Oh.